That breaking news comes to us from Stockton, where the fire community is mourning the loss of one of their own. Fire Captain Max Fortuna was killed this morning during a call when a gunman opened fire at firefighters. Captain Fortuna served the Stockton Fire Department for over 21 years. Max was a, was a firefighter who showed up every day and never complained about being on the job. And the men and women of the Stockton Fire Department are getting ready to transport the body of Fortuna to the coroner's office. You can see them lined up outside the hearse there. This is live copter three, and we will stay over the procession as it begins. But they are there waiting to uh, move the casket into the hearse. If they haven't already, it looks like they have already. And so they're closing the door on that. And now the procession will begin. And again, they will be taking uh, his body to the coroner's office and we have live team coverage for you from the ground and the air. Maricela de la Cruz is standing by to bring us the latest on the investigation into this deadly shooting. But let's begin with KCRA 3's Kay Reseed who is live at the hospital. Kay. It's a solemn day here in Stockton and among the firefighter community and right now the procession is expected to kick off from here at the General Hospital. We've seen a number of fire trucks, police cars, motorcycles, CHP patrol cars here for Captain Max Fortuna. We've been here for hours and have seen many people who knew Fortuna pay their respects here at the hospital. Even former co-workers who now work at neighboring fire departments have come to the hospital to honor Fortuna. And from here, the procession will head towards the sheriff's office. And on Manthe Road, we see a number of vehicles just ready to head down to the sheriff's office, which is not too far away. We are here live in French Camp. Hey, Reseed, KCRA 3 all right, Kay Reseed, thank you for the live report. There you can see her standing in the distance there outside the hospital where, again, they are getting ready to begin the procession. And so we are just waiting for that to begin as well. Again, these live pictures from Live Copter 3, just a heartbreaking day for uh, the entire community and especially for first responders, not just firefighters, but also police officers, CHP officers, sheriff's deputies. Uh, all of the first responders, EMTs that go to situations like this, this all started with just a dumpster fire a call about 445 this morning. We want to continue our team coverage now with KCRA 3's Maricela De La Cruz. She joins us live from the scene with the latest on this investigation that just started out as a regular dumpster fire call this morning, right Maricela? Yeah, that's right, Lisa. Well, we are still at the location here in Stockton. As you can see, just right behind us, part of the road is, is still closed off. This is between Lafayette and Market Streets, where uh, police are investigating. The California Department of Justice has also been called to this investigation. And as you mentioned, you know, firefighters were called on to the scene uh, just before 5 a.m. Then that's when Stockton police received a phone call at around 5 a.m. about shots fired. We know that Captain Max Fortuna, he was shot and killed. Now, we also know um, from this just a couple of, maybe about an hour ago, there was a press conference. They did reveal some information about the man in custody, that suspect. He's 67 years old. We don't know if he's a Stockton resident. One weapon was recovered from the area. There's no details um, as to what kind of firearm that was. And well, as I mentioned, the road is closed off. Closed off. We spoke to spokesperson Joe Silva um, with the Stockton Fire Department. Let's go ahead and listen to what he had to say. Um, he was well liked by his fellow firefighters, um, came to work every day. And unfortunately today, you know, he, he, he gave the ultimate sacrifice. It's not normal, you know, hearing a firefighter being shot and killed. And it's just something that is devastating to all of us here from Stockton Police Department in the city of Stockton. Now, this shooting happened um, near some train tracks right near Aurora and Washington Streets here in Stockton. Earlier today, we were able to get some video of uh, where uh, firefighters had been responding um, to that fire. Um, as I mentioned, you know, the scene out here is still pretty active. A couple of different agencies on scene and Stockton police says that they do believe they're going to be here for a couple of more hours. Um, they do. Uh, they are hoping to release the identity of the suspect over the next couple of hours as well. For now, live in Stockton, Maricela de la Cruz, KCRA 3 News.